Mongerstake here finally after a little bit of a unintentional break from making videos from the channel. Back here with a game I played live with my wife on her stream. We found ourselves platooned up in tier 6 mediums, my, myself in the Panzer IV small turn, and her in the STRV 74, and we're actually on Berlin. Seems kind of fitting for a Panzer IV. But we're actually top tier. It's a split tier 6, tier 5 battle. And one thing in this case is that you can take the Panzer IV-S and play it hull down. Now, of course, they have both a Hummel and an LEF, so you got to watch out, try to get artillery safe, so I know exactly where I'm going to go. I'm going to go up here to the K6 position. Leopard raced ahead. He's not, in, he's not in the position I want to be in. You can see the rubble with the, the destroyed building right next to it. That'll give me some artillery cover, and as long as the Leopard doesn't take the position, I can get hold down. Because the Panzer for a small turn, it chairs the turret of the Panther, but the whole of the regular Panzer IV. It has the skirts removed and replaced with mesh instead, which they were meant to help deflect anti-tank rifles and possibly early heat projectiles. But... In this game, they don't act as anything. When you look up the uh, Panzer IV-S, when you see it on tanks.gg, you can view if it has space armor or not, and the hole does not show space armor. So basically, they're there for looks. They make it look, look like it has fencing on it. But the turret is quite good, which makes it for the very weak hull. Because the Panzer IV hull at tier 6 is basically butter. Everything can slice right through. But the turret, when you get hull down, is quite reliable. As long as everybody's not firing premium. And of course, that, that 7.5 L70 weapon is just absolutely sublime. Now, it does act just like most German guns. If you... Stop and fully aim, it's very reliable and consistent. If you're moving around and trying to snapshot, it doesn't do that well. Very few German guns do. They uh, they tend to have really bad soft stats. That's the bloom after hole traverse or hole movement, turret traverse after firing. And it adds up to a, a gun that most German guns like that, they don't react well except when fully aimed. And then, they'll go directly center line. Except for the grill. The grill is just wild at times. But the Panzer IV-S is one of those that is absolutely reliable. Even though I might be late on the trigger on that one, that would have been absolutely great to track the Super Chaffee out in the open. Always remember that, if you're if you're playing, remember the tactics you use and keep in mind not to make the same mistakes that you see the enemies make. Like pulling out with your sprocket showing like that super shaft you were doing. It's a good way to get tracked and get permatracked without you being able to return fire. I got the tier 5 Panzer 4H beside me, so it's like a Panzer 4 Brigade. And I do not know what the T-78 was thinking. Because up to this point, you notice it's a very close game. We're starting to pull away hit point wise, but by most metrics, it's still a pretty neck and neck game. And the T-78 just absolutely threw his tank away. Now the <laughs> Super Chaffy just keeps pulling out. And there again, the, the snapshotting lack of capability. And you see, 
kind of foreshadowing what I was saying earlier. Super Chaffee eventually gave me what I needed was to be able to hit his drive sprocket, blow the track off, and keep him pinned there. Now the M6 is also giving me what I need. Be able to get easy shots into a, his side. The front of the M6 is actually decent, well, decently well armored, and so is the turret. The sides are absolutely horrible. But now you can see we've blown the game pretty much wide open. I'm just racking up damage over and over with this unrelenting rate of fire. And I absolutely adore that about the uh, Panther, the Panzer IVs. All of the, basically all of the German tanks that can mount this L70, or in the Panther's case, the L100 version. And now I'm just looking to finish off the uh, Leopard there. He was shooting premium, which with me hold down, and if he has any hope to defend, he will actually have to because he's firing. You can see I'm registering 70 damage per shot on him. That means he's using the 5 centimeter gun instead of the little 3 centimeter auto cannon. Which, note that. When you get hit by an enemy, be sure to actually look at the hit log. You can tell a lot of times when vehicles have you know an array of weapons to choose from that are all effective, you can, of course, figure out very quickly what they hit you with, what was the damage, and then you know how to approach them. Like I know, this VK, he's, he does not have the howitzer. He's hitting me for about 120, so he's running one of the two 7.5s. And I see the muzzle break, which means he's running one of the standard 75s. But now, of course, I finished him off. He damaged my gun at the end, but it is a win. I managed to snag a top, top gun out of it. And this was an ace with high caliber, steel wall, and top gun. I actually blocked almost 1700 in damage and dealt almost 3500 in return so very nice solid game with the Panzer 4S getting one of those rare top tier games and then myself and then my wife finished 1 and 2 so it was shell proof fire perfect duelist bruiser and a number of others and it was just a withering rate of fire duel in the uh, debris over there I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.